Patrick, first, here it is. The store receiving national attention tonight, this Speedway. So if you're feeling a little down on your luck or with those picks, the numbers you chose, take a listen to this. Let's do it. The numbers are the name of the game. Through, is there a strategy to picking these numbers? Well, I just picked um, my grandma's date of birth, my date of birth, my mom's date of birth. So if that didn't work and you didn't buy a new Berlin, well, hey, you may still be a winner. And what I can tell you is that homeowners in Wisconsin just got a grand slam. And that'll come on your property taxes. Take a look. On average, for every $2 Powerball ticket sold in Wisconsin, a buck 13 goes toward winnings and 60 cents toward Wisconsin's lottery and gaming tax credit. So it's a good thing, right? It's a good thing. Yes, yes, because I am I do pay property taxes. So it would be a wonderful thing. So I'm hopeful that today this is even better. I'm on the news. Hi, everyone. And then I have the possibility that I might win. Homeowners can apply for the annual credit. This year's average credit is estimated at 160 bucks for now. But the bigger the Powerball, the bigger the credit. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of income. Yeah, I, I agree with that. That's, that's fine with me. So even if you lose, you're helped out a little bit. Right. All right, Matt, the state of Wisconsin has to be a big winner in this, too. Patrick, $38 million richer. If the winner or winners take the lump sum, that is the amount of estimated taxes collected, $38 million. Quite the tax bill, but likely able to afford that with the winnings, Patrick.